Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be trying to fix this Power Pack 300. My cousin bought this unit from QVC. QVC acquired them from somewhere. Now, on the internet, it claims the manufacture date was somewhere around 2012. Well, this is 2018. So, there's a big rumor on the internet that most of these units do not work. Well, heck, if you got some kind of battery source unit that's been sitting around for six years, probably delete, depleted and destroyed the battery. So this one never worked. Uh, there's warnings in the owner's manual, operational manual saying do not try to activate any of the functions while it's being charged. I even bought a new charger. It said it was charging. After two days of charging, I tested, said it was good. I unplug it, turn it on. I just get a blimp. So I believe the battery was destroyed in this unit. So I opened up the unit. It has several uh, Phillips screwdrivers. You need a long uh, shaft on your screwdriver to get to the screws. I took the unit apart. I found a battery in there. Didn't even test it. I went around locally to a couple of places. Couldn't find a battery. They recommended I try Walmart. I, I just, you know, Walmart has stuff on their website that's not in their store. So I went on the internet and I purchased this battery here from a company called Chrome Battery. It had the same rating as the one that was on in the unit. 12 volts, uh, 12 AH, whatever that stands for. Amperage maybe, I don't know. So I ordered it, got it in in a couple of days. This is the same size battery that was in there. The only difference is the post on the battery that came out of here were vertical with the battery. These are horizontal. I still should be good. So I'm going to install this battery in this unit and put it on the charge, see if it works. Now, I could put an ohm meter on here, see if it's got any charge on it at all, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, seal the thing up, and see if I can get it to work. So, let's get started. To take the unit apart to replace the battery, the first thing I would recommend doing is depleting the unit all the way down until there's like no charge left on it. As you can see, this has charge on it. You want to delete, deplete that down so that there's no charge left before you start taking it apart. After it's unplugged from the wall, all the power is depleted off of it. First thing you want to do is flip it over and take the four feet off of it. Now these feet shouldn't be on too tight. You have the rubber foot. There's a little screw and a little washer on the screw. So... Be careful you don't lose the screws or the washers. Next you want to take the end caps off. You want to unclip the cable there from there like that. Let it hang down and take these four screws out here. Three, four. Take all four screws out. Now when you take these four screws out, this end cap will just come off. Thread it over this clamp. Now, when you put these screws back in, you want to just snug them down. They don't have to be too tight, and you don't want them to strip the plastic. So you just screw them in until they're snug, not tight. Next, you want to remove the seven screws from around the unit. You got three on one side, two in the handle, and two on the side that has a switch. So right out the box, the box is a little beat up. Uh, wasn't a lot of padding in there and there's a damaged corner on the battery so I'm gonna take a picture of that ask them will that need any service I don't know if that uh, messes up the thing or not so anyway let me go ahead now the one that I took out had some styrofoam on it that maybe kept it secure in here 
Let's go ahead and open this up. That's what it looks like inside the unit. These are the connectors that was hooked up to the battery. So I'm going to take those off, hook them up to the red. Take those other nuts off, hook them up to the black, and get this battery situated in here somehow. The only thing I did was took it apart, separated it, found that. Now I did have, a, again, some little tape foam in there stopping from bouncing around. I have some in my car. I could have taken it off the other battery. I used a 8 millimeter boxed in wrench, Phillips screwdriver. I got that tight. I actually put one wire on one side of the post, the big wire on the other side of the post, screwed it, tightened it. You do want to make sure that's tight because you don't want that coming loose over time, however long you have it. Now I'm going to put the black one on show you that. You put the screws on here on these posts. You put the screw through there, then you put the flat washer on there, and then you put the lock washer, the one with the slit on there and then you screw the nut on there so let me use both hands get this stuff the rest of the way on now that it's together you got to make sure that your red is coming out of that notch there so that it doesn't get crimped under your switch and your black comes out here on this side and this terminal I just connected is what comes out of this edge so I need to uh, bring that over this way actually I'm gonna undo that and unwrap this over here I'm gonna put it so that it comes straight this direction it was easiest for me to set it up on the side so the battery can sink down in there and the halves have channels so, I took the black cord over the top, and it's going to come out this nook right here. I got the channel on that side. Need to get this side lined up a little bit so it'll close. Then I'm going to put the screws down through those holes. Massage the unit closed with the switch to me and the air pump hose on top. So, I got it closed the whole way around. I got this cord coming out here. The black cord going out that side. And now I'm putting four screws in here. One here, one here, one here, one here. Then I'm going to turn it around. And all of these screws are the same, except for the ones that go into the feet. So take these and screw it in to bound the unit together. So I got all three of these in, the two in, in the handle, and the two in down on the switch side. Next you screw these uh, two pieces on the ends. They have four screws each. Set them up there after you put the cable through them. And then screw them on there. But you do want to put the cable through them. I got this side on. Now I can tuck the cable, clamp that on there. And I'm going to do the other side. I got this side screwed in. I'm going to tuck the cable, clip it on there. Last but not least, we're going to install the four feet. Again, you want to snug these in there. You don't want to make them tight. Now, the screw has a washer on it. So you take the screw, put the washer on it. Then you set the feet on there and screw the screw in with the washer on there again do not make that too tight you'll strip the plastic just snug them down all four feet is on the units back together those are adapters in there now I'm gonna see if the battery that came with it has any charge on it now I could just plug it in and let it start charging but you know me I'm curious so Looks like it does have battery level. Let me take the flash off where you can see it. So yeah, the battery does have some charge on it. That powers the outlet. I should be able to charge something on that now. A phone charger or something. You got a cigarette lighter adapter you could use. 
another socket here, and then you got your flashlight that's built in there. I gotta relocate that. Now over here, I have my air pump. Here's the switch for that. There you can see everything appears to work. I don't have nothing hooked up here, but it does sound like it's working. So, I'm going to check the uh, tire pressure on Queen B in the morning and see if I can queen, air Queen B up. There's the PSI, and I'll double check it with the gate. So, looks like it's going to be working. I'm going to charge it up. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.